In this demonstration, you'll learn how to take a standard Fluent case file with input and output parameters, apply mesh morphing, and optimize a parametric analysis entirely within the ANSYS Fluent environment using ANSYS OptiSlang. Note that ANSYS OptiSlang is required to be installed along with ANSYS Fluent. Also note that for the sake of brevity, the process of defining input and output parameters within Fluent will not be covered here. In fact, this specific case and data file and parametric optimization setup is also described in its own Fluent tutorial. In this particular video, you'll analyze a 2D heat exchanger from Fluent. We'll start Fluent in 2D with four processors. In the open Fluent session, we'll read in an existing heat exchanger case file that already contains input and output parameters and several monitors. We'll start by reviewing the predefined input and output parameters and report definitions. The temperature and velocity at the inlet of the heat exchanger are input parameters, along with the wall displacement in the x and y directions, all of which are already defined in the Fluent case file. In this example, we will not vary the inlet conditions of velocity and temperature, and only vary the vertical location of the tubes. The case file also contains several report definitions to monitor such things as the average temperature at the outlet that's also defined as an output parameter. We'll use these later in defining mesh changes and setting up the optimization analysis. This demonstration requires geometry and mesh changes that can be accounted for directly within Fluent using mesh morphing. We'll review the settings that have been made. First, fixed wall constraints have been defined for everything except the two circular walls. To account for their displacement, those walls each have a translating wall condition applied, defined by their own named input parameter expression. The mesh morphing region has been defined such that it surrounds the mesh field. The mesh morphing region is checked and previewed to make sure it has been set up properly. Now we can get started with optimizing the parametric analysis. In the Parametric tab of the ribbon, under Study, select Initialize. A parametric analysis requires a project file to help you manage various files from potentially numerous separate Fluent calculations. For this new parametric analysis, we'll use the default name provided for the project based on the loaded case file. Details about manually setting up a sequential or concurrent parametric analysis and understanding the various elements of the user interface are covered in another video. For this video, we are going to focus on automatically adding design points using ANSYS OptiSlang. This is why an OptiSlang license is required. An OptiSlang license is not required, though, if you just want to manually define design points and run your own design of experiments in the Fluent parametric workflow. You can use the parametric ribbon for creating and updating design points and other useful tools for handling parametric studies. Aside from the ribbon, you are presented with an enhanced outline view. The parametric study view provides access to the design point table and parametric reports. The parametric study itself is a separate tab alongside the graphics window and consists of the table of design points. Right now, the table only contains the baseline design point. Get started by automatically adding design points using OptiSlang. In the Design Point section of the ribbon, choose the Auto option to use ANSYS OptiSlang to easily create any number of design points using a variety of sampling techniques and settings, some of which may require an OptiSlang license. Select Add Design Points. This opens the Create Design Points using OptiSlang dialog, where you can automatically set up a series of design points. Choose Create DOE and Optimize to expand the Create Design Points and Optimize using OptiSlang dialog. Under Parameters, for each of the parameters listed, turn off the active field except for Wall 1 DY and Wall 2 DY. For Wall 1 DY, set the lower bound to negative 0.025. For Wall 2 DY, set the upper bound to 0.025. Under Criteria, make sure the new criteria type is set to Objective and click Add Objective. For the newly created objective listed in the table, assign the expression to Heat Transfer Per Flow Energy and set the criteria to Max. Under Optimization Options, select One Click and click the Configure Settings button. This opens ANSYS OptiSlang in the background and will populate the dialog with the necessary fields to complete the optimization settings. 
Set the maximum number of design evaluations to 50. Once you press enter, the remaining fields will update accordingly to 10 and 25 respectively. Once you have completed the setup, click the Run Optimization Study button. This will instruct OptiSlang to create the necessary design points based on your settings. Populate the design point table and run each of the simulations automatically. By default, for most design points, the Write Data option is turned off and only the output parameters will be saved out of the parametric study together with the report. For this demonstration, we will update all of the design points one after another using the default sequential setting. Monitor the status in the table and in the progress bar. Design points are updated sequentially using four processors each as set in the Fluent Launcher. For each value of the inlet velocity, new values for the output parameters are calculated, a new solution is calculated, values tabulated, and files populated and managed through the Fluent project. Once all 50 of the design points have been updated, the table now looks like this. The results of the Design of Experiments (DOE) are also displayed. Green columns indicate a successfully converged solution. The optimized solution is highlighted in green as well. Now that the analysis is complete, we can explore simulation reports. Double-click Design Report Settings in the Parametric Study View to display the Simulation Report Outline task page or use the ribbon. Review the available options for the current report. We generate a general simulation report for the original case and data. Or we can choose to generate a simulation report for the base case or for any of the other design points. For this demonstration, we'll select the optimal solution and click Generate. The report will be generated and be displayed in its own tab in the Fluent interface. Note that the initial generation of a report may take a few moments. However, subsequent reports will later take less time. We can also generate a separate simulation report that is dedicated to the parametric study itself, where results from all design points can be studied at once. So we'll select Parametric Report and click Generate to create a parametric report. Once your parametric report is generated, you can compare the mesh, contour, vector, or path line plots, or combinations thereof using scenes, comparing the plots between the various design points. For instance, here we can see how contour plots of temperature change as the interior wall displacement changes. To make the comparison easier to visualize, a fixed scale was used for all the contours. This was enforced in the contour plot definition itself prior to the running of the parametric study. Comparisons can be made in the same report, such as comparing the results between two design points. Note that you can review your parametric reports even outside of Fluent using these HTML-based reports and compare your results from different design points within a standard web browser. This concludes this demonstration of setting up and solving an optimization parametric study in ANSYS Fluent.